Hello and welcome to Plant-Based Homestead Prepper where we make prepping fun. In this video, we're going to be walking to a store I'm sitting at. We're going to be doing a little bit of shopping. And I'm going to continue the series of prepping for $5 a week. Okay, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Hey guys, it's Jennifer Chappelle with Heart Speak Warriors Forum. I hope you're enjoying all of the entertainment that you're getting right here on Plant-Based Homestead Prepper with my honey, Roderick Chappelle. When you're done, pop over to my channel at Heart Speak Warriors Forum, where we will take ordinary people and listen to their extraordinary stories. Hope to see you guys there. So here we are walking to the store. You know, this is one of my favorite things of the week to do. And we're going into all the... I love this store. I love their prices. I love not getting run over by the mail truck. <laughs> so, see you on the inside. Hi, I'm Christina. And you are watching Plant Based Homestead Prepper. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Okay, so walking in. Fruits, fruits, bananas look a little bit better. Oh, they're only 39 cents a pound. Ooh, oranges. Great price, two twenty nine. They were like four dollars and something two weeks ago. Pineapples a dollar twenty nine. We're not buying pineapples today. Not buying any oranges. I actually started me a water fast today, so uh, I'm gonna do this for a little while. Well, till I hit my goal. Pastries nuts which is not a bad prep alert okay just not what we in here for now you know you, i'm gonna take you guys advice because you guys were like you can take these saltines oh, i can't remember if y'all see it canned saltines or what but i'm gonna buy they're only 75 cents a box so i'm gonna get definitely one of those today all right so let's look at the bread bread is always a telltale sign okay and Wines, you always gonna have plenty of spirits. Okay, let's we'll see what kind of stuff we got here. Okay, condiments, uh, sauces, and things. But I'm going to get okay, prep alert. I always tell you guys about the peanut butter, the peanut bit here. And I think what we're going to do, because <clears throat> today is going to be a protein prep, we're going to get a 40 ounce thing of peanut butter. <clears throat> and we're going to try, okay, this is, this is not going into our preps. This is something I'm going to try, these strawberry preserves, okay? So that's one thing we're going to do. Let's check prices for canned goods. Canned goods are looking amazing. Okay, they haven't gone up. Look like everything is the same. Okay, let's go here to pastas. Okay, so two pounds of pastas. It's a dollar twelve. Okay, what's the difference here? Angel hair is dollar thirty nine. So the thinner it is, the more expensive. And then regular spaghetti is dollar twelve. That's amazing. Okay, we're not doing that, we're not doing that, not doing that, not doing that. Hmm, buttery mashed potatoes. Yummy. How does that sound? Okay. Let's look at some of these right here. This is what I came. I came to... Okay, so here's a prep alert right here. Some bouillon and chicken cubes. That's going to be worth its weight in gold if and when something happens. Uh, here are some soups. Okay. $2.49, not bad at all. Okay, ham is $2.98, lunch and meat $1.79, corned beef $1.58. So actually what I came to do today, I'm gonna load up on a few items that we don't eat now, but would be great to either trade and or in a pinch, it will give you some good protein. Okay, so we're gonna get a couple of these right here. These are five ounce cans. I, I come in here, nothing new. Okay, so we get a couple of those, five ounce cans. And 
Mm -hmm. Avocados, 95 cents a pound. I mean, uh, each, which is a good price for here. Let's see about the potatoes, especially since we're having a potato shortage. All right, russets are three dollars for a 10 pound bag which is amazing all right large baking potatoes are 285 i don't see any reds oh there are reds right there okay sweet potatoes dollar 79 that's that's an amazing price but we're doing preps today okay all right so let's see here we're gonna stop we're gonna get us one of these one of these boxes of mashed potatoes so we're sitting about two and some change three so four so with our preps that's five dollars right there not counting the jelly okay but because i'm shopping for us as well we're gonna get a few more things of course why because that's how we roll right that's how we roll Welcome to Plant-Based Homestead Prepper. I am Grim from Grim Survival, where we talk about SHTF scenarios, food shortages, things I see while driving this thing, and solar minimums, among many other things. But back to your regular scheduled prep. All right, so prep alert. The spices are going to be something that you want to get. I'm gonna see, I'm, I've been in here several times, several weeks, and I never noticed any shortening. I don't see any shortening. Oh, there it is. So this looks like a, what's that, four pound can? Three pound can for 329. It's a prep alert because you can make a candle out of that. Flour is 99 cents a bag, sugar is $1.37 for four pounds, which is amazing, not bad. Have hidden this chunky over here by itself. Uh, chicken noodle, a dollar seventy-eight a can. That's not bad. Um, probably not gonna get any, but I just thought that was a good price for it. Okay, I wanted to show you guys the uh, the pork, and it looks like it's two sixty-nine, something like that a pound. And I don't even really know what cut that is, but. When I'm in this store, I always gotta take snapshots when I'm in the meat department. Um, Cause when I went in and talked to the manager, asked him if I could you know, walk around and stuff. He said I could, but he gave me some restrictions of things I couldn't do. Here's some sausage links right here. I apologize, I know the prices are blurry. Just know that they were like, you know, $3 and some change. Um, so, you know, again, I apologize, but I have to do what I have to do in order for me to keep being able to bring you guys the footage and the coverage. So here's the ground beef. Uh, it is three, I wanna say that's 389 a pound. Here are the chicken breast at, what's that, 330. Okay, here are some chicken wings and chicken drumettes, $1.29 a pound or a pack. There's some more uh, chicken breast. I apologize, I cannot see that one. And then here's the bacon, 289 a pack. Uh, looks like for one of those, you know, one of those packs, and then, you know, of course they had other, you know, other bacon there. But it seems like, and I'm not sure because I really haven't been keeping up with it. And you guys, let me know in the comments if the price of bacon has come down, especially you know with everything that's going on over in China. Here's milk right here, two fifty nine a gallon, and this is like their, uh, I believe that's the one one percent or whatever is less than the grade A whole A. I don't know, we don't drink milk anymore. We haven't drank milk in years. And then 286 a gallon for, I guess that's like the the, the big milk, <laughs> the extra milk. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> we haven't had milk in so long. Uh, let me see, I think eggs are coming up. Yep, eggs are 79 cents a carton. And if memory serves me correct, that is a really good price uh, for a dozen of eggs. So that's why, that's another reason why I like coming to this store because you can shop and you can get things that uh, that's not going to cost you a whole bunch. And then I, I took a snapshot of this. This is ibuprofen up there at the cash register. It's a dollar ninety-five a bottle, and then you had some other stuff next to it at ninety-nine cents. So um, you know, 
not, not so that's not a bad prep item to have you know some ibuprofen uh for some kind of you know for pains and all that kind of stuff i don't honestly know what the shelf life is so you know pack accordingly and seal you know the best you can so thanks all right so we've done our shopping we are walking out the store headed to the vehicle it doesn't take long now i mean as soon as i walk in i pretty much know the layout of the store i know what i'm gonna get and it all depends on what the purpose I'm shopping for. If I'm shopping for us right now, um, I know where to go and get stuff. And if I'm you know, shopping for preps, which I try to be consistent with every week, especially since I'm trying to cater to folks who are on a budget and or people who are new to prepping, the prepping lifestyle. Hold on, y'all. Sorry, I had some gum in my mouth and that is so unprofessional. But anyway, um, I, it's kind of misting, so I don't want to put my bag down on the ground like I normally do and show you guys. So what we're going to do, we're going to open up and we will show ya when we get in the truck or in the vehicle. How about that? So stay. Right, so just like you saw when we were shopping, this is what we picked up. We picked up some, some uh, uh, saltines. I couldn't remember what kind of were. Picked up another box of mashed potatoes. We got a couple cans of tuna got a huge jar of peanut butter okay that's a 40 ounce how many services in this thing all right so they say a serving size is two tablespoons and there are 35 servings in this container all right so there you go do the math and then we pick this up just so we can try this out because we eat a lot of peanut butter and jelly now so even though these are preserves peanut butter and preserves that makes sense and I think you put my receipt in here. Yeah, here it is. So today we spent $7.61. So if you take off the preserves, which is $1.79, right there at five bucks, okay? So crackers, mash, peanut butter, two cans of tuna, that's right at five bucks. And there you have it. So as always, I wanna thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, dealing with Jennifer and my crazy. I know we, uh, for those that watched us this weekend, we had an amazing weekend, had a bunch of parties that we went through. And every now and then, you know, like we say all the time on our lives, look, being a prepper means you're being prepared for anything that could or could not happen. But you still got to remember to live because we're still alive. And while times are good, enjoy life because tomorrow is not promised. Just like tomorrow is not promised that we're not going to need our preps, tomorrow's not promised that you're even going to be here. So try to make as many memories as you possibly can. Spread as much love as you possibly can. Because Lord knows there's enough hate and fear in this world. So, as always, I love you. If you don't hear from anybody else, know that I love you. And that we appreciate you for being at Plant Based Homestead Prepper. And if you are new here, and you've never seen one of our videos and this is your first time, please subscribe. Please subscribe. I know that didn't come out. Did I right? come out? It didn't come out right. Please subscribe, like, and comment because that helps the channel. And if you really, really, really like it, go ahead and share it on some of your social social media so you can get, so you can help us grow. That's the next step. So we're trying, we're we're really trying to get to a thousand subscribers. We we got the watch time well over it. But we don't have a thousand subscribers yet, so we're pushing really hard to get there so we can monetize this channel and do even more for the community. All right, so thank you guys so much. We appreciate you, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. God bless.